Well, sir, I mean, they've got they've got Facebooks with me with my head uh, photoshopped on a priest robe claiming I'm a pedophile priest and I'm not even Catholic. Uh, they've got websites with me photoshopped with transvestites having sex and people think it's real. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, exactly. I mean, I've been through this. We don't know if this is really their stuff. We don't know if he was some deep cover informant of theirs. Listen, I, I get fundamentally like I'm at the edge of a cliff. I appreciate your call. When I talk about Oklahoma City and the names of the FBI agents, the CIA people, and the, that were inside the building planning the bombs that were seen by multiple witnesses, they killed some of the witnesses, including police officer of the year, Terrence Yakey, and some medical folks. But I've talked to one of the survivors that lived after the testimony, Jane Graham, here on air. I've talked to other police officers that saw it going on, like Don Browning, highly decorated Marine Vietnam, head of the K-9 unit for 30-something years until he retired there. And, and every time I talk about it, I feel like I'm at the edge of a cliff because we, we name names in that show, folks, and I got death threats over it. We got the hotel receipts. They lied and said they weren't there. We, we, they were seen by witnesses planting the bombs. And I feel like I'm on the edge of a cliff when I talk about it because my, I'm smart. I know the kind of stuff that'll get me killed or set up. But, I mean, at a certain point, you got to just go, I'm not afraid anymore. And this attorney general was the deputy attorney general, and his emails came out in lawsuits in Salt Lake City or people that were killed because their families have standing. And he was involved in the cover-up bare minimum. I mean, they ran the false flag of... Fast and Furious that killed thousands. I mean, I am literally on air. They're, they're trying to put the head of the Veritas Project in jail routinely. They're trying to put Dinesh D'Souza in prison. They've tried all sorts of crap with me to put me in jail. I mean, I won't even get into it all, folks. It's just, let me explain something. This is real, folks, okay? This isn't a game. I know who these people are. They're bad. Does that mean the average FBI person's bad? No, there, a lot of them are good people. Does that mean the average cop's bad? No, they're great people on average. But they've got unlimited power now in this corrupt system, and they're, they got bad people on top that are getting away with murder. Let's go to your calls. You're not going to shut up. I'm just really freaked out, man. I'm freaked out because I don't want to be right. I'm freaked out because it's over the top, folks. I mean, just as sure as the sun came up this morning, they're getting ready to stage a civil war, and I don't know how to stop them. And then it's got the cherry on top that I'm going to get blamed in the middle of it. Don't you see, folks, how epically horrid this is? But, but we could stop it. I should do a whole show tomorrow on how do we stop it. How, I don't know what we do at this point. I mean, it's so horrible. They're shutting the country down. They're stealing the pension funds. They're bankrupting us. They're shutting everything off. The borders are wide open. They're funding al-Qaeda. And then if we resist, even in words, they call us terrorists. Brian in North Carolina, you're on the air. Yeah, Alex. I'm a singer-songwriter in a band it's called the Damn Quails. We just tour in the East Coast. Uh, we're out here, got a bunch of survival shields, keeping us uh, detoxified. Very interesting. We've been, yeah, we've been seeing a bunch of... Uh, Trucks spraying the glyphosate, man, and every time we stop along the rest stops on the highway, you can smell that stuff out here. We're in North Carolina right now. Well, it is a sterilant, and it also grows breast tumors on record. I mean, they admit it grows breast cancer. But no one will say, hey, let's stop using it or get something else. Uh, let's just find a cure for it. Well, how about the cure is not having glyphosate in the drinking water? It literally smells like poison. My grandmother will not get surgery. She's almost 90, and she's, she's still sharp as a tack, and I love her as much as anybody in my family. She's had breast cancer for three years, and, you know, it's slowly growing, and, and if she lives long enough, it'll kill her. But, I mean, you know, this has touched me. Everybody's been touched by breast cancer. My wife's mother, you know, uh, I mean, it, it's, it, it makes me mad. And turns out Monsanto knows exactly what they're doing. Sir, what do you think of uh, the uh, – because uh, I'm not mad at you, but I opened the calls up, and I, and I said – you know, we're talking about civil war and the shootings and how they're now saying Homeland Security is for the Tea Party. For me, I think that's a big deal that the anti-terror apparatus is for the Republican Party. And I think the Republican leadership should come out and speak out against this. But instead, they're working with the Democrats to go after the libertarian wing of the Republican Party. I say this is off the chart big. I appreciate your call, Brian. Is anybody else calling about this?
Uh, let's talk to Jacob in Arkansas. Jacob, uh, go ahead. Hey, man, how you doing? I just, I'm, this is above my pay grade. I'm in over my head, but so is everybody oh, else. Oh, my God. I totally understand what you're saying. I don't normally get to listen live, man. I'm a fish farmer, and I'm getting rained out up here in Arkansas today. But what I called in about was I think how the Civil War is actually going to go down is financially the dollar is going to crash. And, uh, wow, I'm really nervous. Uh, and I think the dollar is going to collapse. And then the food stamp zombies are literally going to start raping and pillaging the land. And people like me who can shoot ducks from 200 yards away with a 22 on moving water is going to be the last stand. We're going to be the last stand. Stay there. I'm going to come back to you, and, and, and then we're going to go to Chase, Jason, Chris, GB, and everybody. We're doing 30 minutes of overdrive. Everybody stay there. I'm going to come right back to you. That's right. And who do they train to fight? Not the zombies. They train to fight people that can skin a buck or run a trot line. We'll be right back. <clears throat> There's a story up on DrudgeReport.com in amongst all the other massive uh, border collapse. It's just border collapse, lawlessness. Obama's officially a dictator with this. On the left-hand side, it's got third military base tap to fill illegal immigrant children. Uh, they're, they're renewing a new amnesty push. That's the answer. Just legalize everybody on top of it being by fiat. Border agent issues plea for help, says USA overrun by criminal aliens. We confirmed his identity and he's a border agent. And he didn't even say we couldn't use his name. But I told Salazar, who wrote the article, we're adding his name, uh, Don Salazar, to just, just say name withheld to protect the source. We confirm the source. So we're going to add that to the bottom of the article, that this is a confirmed Border Patrol source. And by the way, folks, when you send us these letters or photos or intel, tell us if you want your name out or not. You know, uh, that's always important. Because we're, we, we're, uh, in fact, sometimes people say, well, withhold this, we will hold even more. <clears throat> but, I mean, I think you already had the head of the union come out and say they plan to get rid of the border entirely and it's totally criminal and lawless. So, so they're somewhat public because they have a union. So you could say unions are bad, but then sometimes they're good. Because then they can tell the truth and have some protection. Uh, but uh, you got 24 troops committing suicide every day. You got more U.S. soldiers killed in friendly fire, but it's the end of the world when two cops die. Cops die every day in automobile accidents. You know, it's it's a dangerous job. I'm sad it happened. It's terrible, but I'm not taking the guilt for it. I mean, the, the, this this guy that reportedly killed the people out in California, if you believe the official story last week, was a Democrat on record. Big fan of MSNBC, the Young Turks. I'm not blaming them for it. The guy was a nutball. But I don't act and operate like they do. Al-Qaeda has seized another Iraq city after NATO gave them a base in western Iraq. I mean, this is just out of control. This is so out of control. But DrudgeReport.com is linked to our article from Adon Salazar, uh, breaking it down. And, and, I mean, folks, I've lived in Texas forever. Um, the Hispanics in Texas are as much a part of Texas as any, anybody. Black, white, doesn't matter, more so. That's fine. That's part of Texas culture. The issue here is that the jobs are gone. The illegals get on welfare and work on top of it. That's the phenomenon with the illegals, welfare and they work. Because they want to make money and have a better life. The point is they're being used as a political weapon. And I've never seen what looked like 100 day laborers out front the Home Depot on the side of I-35 and uh, 290. Coming to work the other day, I was downtown doing some business and I was driving up. And I mean, it was like a hundred people, but I was late to work. It was like 30 minutes to showtime. I'd gotten ready at home and I was driving and I was like, that's like a hundred people to, you know, there. I was like, well, at least they want to work, but here's the issue. They get told by the Democrats, you get all this welfare for your wife to stay home, take care of your kids. Well, they go, I like that idea. Okay, I'll take some money. And you just vote Democrat, all right? And they go, yes, sir. And again, it's not that I'm even a Republican, except now it's an endgame. I don't like having two parties. I want ten parties. Now we're only going to have one. We'll be back in overdrive. I'll promise I'm going to Jacob, Chase, Jason, Chris, JB, and others. Chase is up next, then Chris uh, and, and others. But we're going to finish up with Jacob. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball, 
Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. But the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulting us. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at InfoWars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative. Destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's begun. You can feel it.